Kia ora, I'm Maya Lubeck, Chair of the Education and Workforce Committee. And I'm Chloe Swarbrick. I was a member of the Education and Workforce Select Committee during the last term of Parliament and was the Green Party member during the committee's work these last few months. In 2020, the Education and Workforce Committee of the last Parliament opened an inquiry into student accommodation because we wanted to learn more about students' experiences and recommend what could be done to improve the systems and processes associated with student accommodation and more generally raise the standard of student accommodation in New Zealand. The committee came up with some terms of reference that determined what issues we would be looking into. We re-adopted this inquiry after the establishment of the current parliament. We received over 140 written submissions and heard from 30 oral submissions. These included a variety of people including students, student associations, owners and operations of student accommodation and tertiary education providers. We would like to thank everybody who made a submission and let you know that the evidence that you provided us contributed to our work and the recommendations that we have now made to the government. What you wrote and said also contributed to the development of the proposed Pastoral Care Code of Practice and Dispute Resolution Scheme. While we were working on this inquiry, the government has continued work on developing this new code and scheme, which both relate to student wellbeing and would apply to student accommodation. Now to talk a little bit more about what we discussed and the recommendations we've made. The terms of reference guided our work on inquiry and after hearing what submitters said led us to looking into four main themes. These themes included Focus on the transparency and accountability in governance structures, how students in Fano can resolve any problems that they encounter with student accommodation, investigation of the well-being and safety of staff and students working or living in student accommodation, and provide us emergency planning and response. Our recommendations focus on improving the transparency of governance structures, increasing student voice in providers' decision making, raising the standard of internal dispute processes, strengthening the connection between all the different dispute resolution and complaints processes, combining this dispute resolution scheme for domestic tertiary student after it is enacted with the existing scheme for international students. We also explicitly recommended that the government adopts certain proposed parts of this new pastoral care code. You can read those recommendations in our report because it's been published on Parliament's website. The government will respond to the recommendations in 60 working days from today. The responses will also be published on the Parliament website. Our report goes into more detail about those themes and lists our recommendations. You can read that on Parliament's website. We really enjoyed working on this inquiry and all members work very collegially. We are pleased with the recommendation we have made and look forward to the government's response. Kia ora and thank you again for your engagement. Tēnā koutou katoa.